hey guys my name is moon and welcome back for more lost judgment the kaido file so we're continuing the third chapter today and yeah let's check this burned building i suppose something is happening here in kamarucho we just returned right so let's go let's see what is happening hey stay back kaito-san look up there oh is that Mikiko? Mikiko? What is she doing? Yo! No, let us through! I told you it's not safe! Crap! I should be able to get up from there. Shirakawa-san, watch June for me! Huh? Damn, it is her. It's Mikiko, Kaito's woman, Kaito's woman of his dreams. Kaito's love of his life. Where's the woman? We can get around her from up here. Hey, you blockheads are Crimson Lotus, right? Huh? Oh shit, it's that guy from the doctors. Sorry, but your little plan's getting shut down. Yes. Okumura. Oh my god, help me. Okay, let's go up to the roof then. Let's check on Mikiko. Why oh, you smell something? <laughs> you smell something, boy. Tell me. Hmm. Now let's just go up. I like ka how Kaito is like an animal, basically, right? All of his uh, senses senses are heightened. Isn't this the door to the authors? We did a side case here, I remember. Uh, in, yeah, in Lost Judgment. The Mask huh? Rider, if Who I remember correctly. Are you? Writer, writer. Okay, they're already here. End of the line, punk. Mickey goes just up ahead, but there's a lot of crimson lotus dudes here with guns. God damn it! I can't tell what's going on from here. Get out of my way, asshole! Hey, that's my line. Here we go. See now oh no 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 no! I'm gonna die though. Wait, wait, I'm actually dying right now. I need some Odin tuna sandwich. Kasai? <laughs> Kasai from the Kain gang is here. Oh, I can't go here. Softness, yeah, I can't use it. We're full. Hold it right there. Oh, big guy. Of this shit. Yes. Just fuck off already. Get me. Eat it then. 
Oh my god. It ripped my pants. I need <laughs> now I'm trying my iron guard I want to test how it works though it still works like that okay okay how about before okay I was just testing my iron guard or the skill I mean how it works Okay, it's here, right? Oh, okay, okay. I haven't unlocked it. That's why. Uh, um, LBS and enemy attacks. I don't know if it works though. If it's on in a sword. Oh. Make it go. Now, Tuck, where are the others in Crimson Lotus? Uh, I don't know. After I cut my ties with them, I lost track of all the guys in that gang. The fact that I'm even here is just a coincidence. You're a liar! Uh, hey, where's that backup? If they don't get here soon, then Nishimura's dead! Masaharu-san. Mikiko. Masaharu-san. Oh, I told you. Tell me why, Mikiko. They killed them. My whole family. Oh, so it was them who killed they took my mother and my Maho. mother. Maho. Maho. They burned them alive. What? Are you sure? I thought Maho Chan's stalker was behind that. That's just the lies they told me. They're the ones who really killed them. Unbelievable. Ashizaki san! Damn you! Die! No, Kaito. We got to jump. No. Jesus, broke your legs, broke your back. She's wearing a Saijima's jacket. <laughs> yeah, right. It's like Saijima's jacket. Color beige. I think beige, right? And then the hooded hood with a little bit of fur. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Kaito's in the hospital yet again. <laughs> this dude always ends up in the hospital. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> oh, he's up. Wait. Where's Mikiko? What happened after I went down? Well, the owner of that security company got shot to death on the roof. His name was Ashizaki. His 
his office was burning up too. You think it's the killer's work? Not sure. I can't find those details anywhere. Gotcha. Oh, and to top it off, Nishimura, a man who was visiting Ashizaki last night, was found dead in an alley this morning. They killed them. My whole family. They took my mother and my father. Mo! They burned them alive! Amigiko, was that you too? And most likely. By the way, Kaito, the police came by earlier. Uh, they said to contact them once you're up. I think they wanted to question you. Uh, just what I needed. Uh, uh. You'll live. That bullet only grazed your shoulder. And by some miracle, your bones are still intact. Plot armor. The doctor was amazed you're still alive. Said that fall would have at the very least paralyzed anyone else. True. <laughs> I say it's time to get back at it. Uh, Kaito-san. Lying around on my ass won't get me closer to Mikiko. Plus, I'd rather not deal with the cops. Let me go with you. All right. Kaito-san, take a look at this before you go. What's all this? Profiles on the four victims murdered in Kamurocho. I put them together last night after a bit of research. Oh, nice work. In summary, all the victims seem to be ordinary people. But that may only be on the surface. According to the rumors on the internet, of which I unearthed a substantial number, many of the victims had rather suspicious backgrounds. Some may have even changed their names. Sounds about right for one of these little thug groups. Unlike the Yakuza, they don't have a family to answer to. Take that blue-haired dipshit from the fool. He acts like he's in some college club without a care in the world. So it seems. Uh, here's another interesting tidbit. Some of the victims had a fighting record, uh, meaning they competed in underground tournaments. But each one was found successfully subdued, even showing signs of force consistent with interrogation. Mikiko did always know how to handle herself. Yeah, she knew how to fight. Yeah, she kept it up with the workouts and the kickboxing, even after Dad came into the picture. She could totally take some thug one-on-one. -on -one. Mom's tough as nails. Hot damn. Anyway, what's our next move? Right. We should probably go investigate the crime scene. What crime scene would that be? Where the murder took place last night. Might be some clues left to find. I see. Though I imagine the scene's still quite busy. Will the police really allow you on site? Oh, I'm hoping to avoid the cops altogether. I'm gonna sneak into the place. Ah, well, I suppose that's one way to do it. Catch you later, then. Mind serving as our alibi while we're over there? I'll give the police a good answer. Just... Make sure you find Mikiko-san. And keep her from dirtying her hands. June! And... Kaito-san? What is this? Ah, <sighs> crap. Oh, don't worry. We can explain. But, uh, what brings you here, of all places? Well... One of my police contacts got in touch. Said a boy here matched June's description. Uh... Well, June? What do you have to say for yourself? After you go wandering off for days on end? Yeah, like you even give a shit! Just go back home by yourself! June! Can we just... I mean, in June... Never mind. Doesn't have a good relationship with Actually, his dad. you and I might want to have a talk, Sadamoto-san. It's about June. And Miki. What's going on with Mikiko? We found her. I'll just put it out there. Turns out your wife's still alive. She's alive? My Mikiko? Where no, my she? Mikiko, Is my. She all right? All right's not exactly how I put it. It's pretty complicated to explain. Complicated? 
To think all that was happening. And Mikiko, possibly a murderer? I know she's out for some kind of revenge. She's aware it was really Crimson Lotus who burned her family alive. I see. That's very difficult to process. We had always believed it was Maho Chan's stalker that did it. Yet now some sinister group emerges. Kaito san, does Mikiko really believe Crimson Lotus orchestrated this stalker story or whatever? That's what she said. It's likely the stalker got pinned as a scapegoat for the whole thing. Now, can you give me anything on your end? How's Crimson Lotus fit into all this? Nothing's making any sense so far. It couldn't be. What? What's wrong? To tell you the truth, this may have been set into motion even before the arson. Okay. You see, Mikiko's family had been under pressure from a certain real estate broker to unload their property. As I recall, that broker was flush with foreign capital and seeking land for a sizable new complex. Mikiko's parents stood to profit quite substantially were they to take the offer. But they didn't take the but offer. I was told they rejected okay. whatever came their way. This went on for quite some time. And then the tragedy happened. Got it. So Crimson Lotus really was behind it all. Mikiko's parents had to die? Because of some land deal? Yes. Although a group like that may have planned to kill them all along. Anyhow, once Mikiko's family was gone, their land was inherited by a distant relative. And since they wanted nothing to do with any stigmatized property, they just sold, they it. sold it to the broker in the end. Okay. So maybe Mikiko got too close to the truth. And it nearly killed her. Yeah. That ought to explain it. Then, if that is the case, then Mikiko's in the right. If I knew who killed my family, why, I'd hunt them down myself. Taking lives of innocent people, all for profit. What monsters! Sadamoto-san, there's something else I've been meaning to ask you. It's about June's biological dad. I know. He thinks you're his real dad, right? Or at least, he hopes you are. Uh, how'd you know? Well, June and I got into an argument once. And he said as much to me at the time. Sorry to hear that. Well, make no mistake. June is definitely my son. Yeah, I believe you. Deep down, I'm sure June understands that as well. This fantasy he spun up to feel better? Symptoms of a typical teenager. You sure he knows what's what? I am. This is nothing but a phase he's going through. I think it was right around elementary school when it started. He began stealing away Mikiko's diary, reading it over and over in secret. Mm. And you, the Yakuza with a heart of gold, were his favorite character. <laughs> right. Jun told me that himself. It's because I let work take priority. Even when Jun was little, I never spent the time with him I should have. And whenever the stress from work got to my head, well, let's just say I reacted poorly even to a child seeking daddy's attention. So I fully understand why he latched on to Mikiko's writings. It's nothing I'm surprised or jealous about. The boy needs an actual father figure. That said, I hope you'll forgive me for letting him believe what he wants, at least for now. Of course, it's pathetic for me to be saying that. <laughs> Uh, shoot! It's from one of the board members. I don't mind going after your son, Sadamoto-san. And when I find him, I'll send him on home. But you're gonna need to set him straight. Excuse me. Yes, this is Sadamoto. Right. Thank you for your help with that contract. 
Send me an invoice for your expenses. I'll cover them. Yes, that sounds excellent. Damn. Although there's one small issue. Rich people, man. Send me, send me this. I'll pay, I'll pay for it. Shit. <laughs> it's always the same. Who'd want a stuffed shirt for a dad? Don't say that. He's a busy guy. Well, now that that asshole's gone, how about we get back on the case? All right. Dude, I want to experience something like that. Like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. I got a lot of money. That scene, Send me your tab. What are we going to do if the cops see us? If it happens, it happens. Let's move. Okay. Can just only imagine that. Okay, let's go back. Are we going? But yeah, it's cool, though. It's cool. If people can do that. Okay, well, that way sure isn't gonna work. I should check the other side. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, the cops are here. Okay, we'll go to the side where we went to last time. This one. Yeah, but there's still a lot no of cops here. Knee deep in cops. Can we get around them? Only if we... Make that I sneak in. June, you wait out here. Any Bato guys show up, just shout for the cops and they'll scatter. Right on. Good luck. Are we gonna sneak here? Okay, the problem is I think if these are cops or guards, you can't really hurt them though. This is gonna be a problem. Yeah, even with Yagami back then, you couldn't put those uh, guards to sleep. And once they see you, game over. Have the repeat from the beginning. Yeah, okay. This was one of the most annoying ones. In the beginning of Lost Judgment, in the school, right? We had to do stuff like this. How do I do this in? What? Okay. Two cops and not going this way. Okay, I guess we gotta enter the building though from this side. Can we? Okay. Oh, there's a cop there. I might run to the cops on the way down. Probably want to avoid taking the elevator. Okay, move, 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 move. He went outside. Thank you, sir. Okay, we just gotta follow him though. I can't. There's no spots to hide. Okay. Checkpoint, I suppose. Okay, do not move until he goes there. Honestly though, you cannot see me. <laughs> it's just so funny though, because you could clearly see Kaito there. <laughs>
Okay, I guess we gotta search this area. This place got torched pretty bad. Hopefully, I can still find some sort of clue. I'll just have to look extra careful. Hmm. Chopsticks. Surprise, though. Hmm. There's definitely something there. Someone huh. tried to open that. Broken PC. Is there a crowbar here? Oh, it's that guy. Yeah, Konmochi. Okay, other smell. Ichiban rice crackers. Notebook. Four one three six two five. Okay. This right here. Can we smell anything else? Okay, there's something there. What have we here? Burning smell. Is this it? I mean, it gives us SP. Why not? Right. Hmm. Okay. Anything? This right here. Water. Is this it? BC. Now computer, and it sounds like it's still buzzing. Where's all the data for a computer saved again? On the hard drive, right? Hope it still works. Otherwise, they ought to call it a soft drive. Okay. I'll just take this back with me. It's burned though. Maybe Chikuma could work his magic. See if he can pull anything off it. Okay, take the chopsticks. Is this it? Umbrella? Okay, we need something to use to open this one, I guess, right? Oh, there. What have we here? There, there, there. Crowbar. Chopsticks. Let's try. Let's try the other ones. Okay, try it, Kaito. I just want to see. <laughs> the umbrella. The umbrella. Dude, why did they block it out? They didn't even show us. It would have been much uh, funnier, right? If they actually showed us him sticking the chopstick inside or the umbrella. <laughs> oh, a laptop or tablet, I guess. Okay, now let's take a peek what's in here. It's a tablet. Yeah, it kind of looks like a tablet. It's right here. A tablet might have some info on it, so I'm about to have a peek. Okay, password. Oh, the password was, I think, the number 413625. I've written it down. Okay. Huh? Okay, the one in the middle, that's Genmochi. The file name is Rizomi Group Homies number two. These girls don't seem to be having such a great time. Did the pricks pick them up from a club or something? Hey, look at the girls, so they're not having fun. Huh. Pretty sure I recognize these guys. I think it's this guy's right? And this one. 
The profile Sh Shirakaba gave me on the victims, these guys look like they fit the bill. So four of the people in these photos already got killed. The blue haired goof in the Crimson Lotus said it was the group senpais who were getting killed. Is Rizome some sort of college club? Uh, what it's, what's it got to do with the Crimson Lotus? Maybe these guys went and started the Crimson Lotus after graduating. If that's the case, all the victims aren't just Crimson Lotus members, they're ex Rizome too. I mean, Ken Mochi fits the description too, meaning we've got our next lead. So I guess Ken Mochi is going to be the next one. Now that I know where Ken Mochi's office is, it's time to stake it out. Okay, we got it. We got to stake it out now. Oh, what is he doing? Isn't this a cow? Oh, they're playing Shogi, I guess. Checkmate. What? That's impossible. How'd you do that? Easy. I thought you said you won your precincts tournament. Yeah, I lost to a prodigy. What Shogi club are you with, kid? None. Never even had lessons. I guess I'm just a natural at it. Yo. Kaito, what's up? What have you been up to? Just stomping a cop at Shogi. That sort of thing. Well, time to stomp on elsewhere. We got us a lead. Oh yeah? Where to? Wherever we gotta be. Oh. Okay then. Wherever that is. Okay, gotta talk to Chikuma about the hard drive first. Hi, how can I be of service? Tsukumo, you're good with computers, right? Think you can handle pulling some data from a burnt up hard drive? Hmm, it all depends on its condition, but it's certainly not impossible. Well, you mind taking a look? And make it quick if you can. Sure, not a problem. But I have to ask, what sort of case did you find yourself in this time? Right, about that. I should probably fill you in. Got a feeling I'll be asking more favors. Here's the deal. I see. So a group of inconspicuous thugs murders a rich family to gain access to their fortune. That's quite a story. Well, let's start with analyzing that hard drive. I've sent a motorcycle courier to your location. Figured it'd be faster to pick it up that way. Once I get my hands on it, I'll tell you what I find. Good shit. Thanks for the assist. Nice. All right. <laughs> now, let's go have us a stakeout. If any luck, your mom will show up. Your mom. Got him. A live stakeout? I've seen that on detective shows before. They get boring after a while. Well, if that's your attitude, you can just hang back at the office. No, I'm going to. Okay, where is it? Other side of the map. Thank God, though. In Lost Judgment, the main game, I mean, we didn't have that much of tailing right thank god for that okay let me get this uh stuff first though tank abilities bruiser i just grab everything honestly what's the other one though this one 13 okay later we don't have sp anymore Imagine if they used Yagami's uh, skills. Not skills, uh, styles, fighting styles for Kaido. It would be really funny. Baseball? What are you wearing, hey, man? Aren't people gonna think we look weird? Huh? Oh, I figured we look like father and son coming home from a ball game. Yeah, I don't know about that. Hey, there he is. Kinmochi. 
Looks like he just clocked in. So you really think my mom's gonna show? I wouldn't hold my breath, but it's possible. After all, Kenmochi's next on her hit list. Guess we'll be stuck here for a while then. Nothing so far. Let me see your lighter. Oh, he has his own huh? smokes? Hell no. <laughs> Who would have thought we smoked the same brand? Hell no. Yo, didn't I already tell you you're too young? Knock that shit off. Man. Come on. Let's change up locations. What for? I'd raise some eyebrows if we stay in one spot too long. We gotta change our clothes too. Honestly, man, don't smoke. If other people tell you to smoke, don't smoke. Don't even try it. Oh, <laughs> school uniform now. Whoa. Okay, looks like he's going out and he's with a lady. All right, let's tail him. If Miko's going after Kenmochi, she'd probably wait till he was alone to show up. Okay, basics of tailing. I think it's pretty much the same. Okay. The lost judgment tailing. Okay, June. <laughs> he has his glasses and all. But who's the one smoking on Lost Judgment? Kuana. Yes, it's Kuana, right? He had an e-cig with him all the time. Okay, my god, he's gonna look at me. No, no, what are you doing, Kaito? Oh. Tying his shoes. Nice. Yakitori? What is yakitori? Barbecue? Is that in? Yakitori. Oh. Did it get too close? What? Dude, what? Okay, I thought I Remember failed. that old geezer I told you about? The stubborn one, living alone, who wouldn't leave. Oh yeah, what about him? He's got this dog he loves like his own grandkid, right? So I snatched the little thing up. Aw, that's so mean. <laughs> oh, it gets better. After that, I gave the old fart a hot dog. And when he wolfed the thing down, I told him it was dog meat. <laughs> got him so spooked. He puked! <laughs> wow, Shu-chan. You're terrible. Please tell me that dog's still alive. Of course he is. He's with Nishio right now. <laughs> Guy loves pets. We'll give him back once the old geezer falls in line. Jesus, though. Stealing someone uh, someone's pet because they don't uh, want to follow you. I'm gonna break you, Kenmochi, if we fight later. There's a cat here. But I can't look for you, kitty. Time is it? Yeah, I'm probably fine. Sushi Zanmai. Okay, 
Okay, we gotta move fast. But I, uh, what do you call this? Kenmochi kind of feels like. Which character is that? Akutsu? Kind of, right? Kind of. Big guys. Very muscly. Anyway, Nishio tells me he's discovered the magic of blind dates. <laughs> Horny bastard must be pretty desperate. He's the one who goes to all those men's salons, right? Yeah, not that it does him any good. He'll be a dirty rat dog till the day he dies and all the ladies know it. I tell him it's his mind, not his looks, that needs polish. I'd take that boy on a spiritual retreat or something. Ooh, what if he has some kind of revelation? Can he still be in your gang? Oh, come on! Gang's just a figure of speech. We don't do any bad stuff, the haters say. We're nothing but a good bunch of friends. You know we even donate to charity? You lie. Do you? I'm impressed. I mean, you can still be bad and donate to charity. Bantam. Is that they son here? That they son. <laughs> That I want to, I want them to make a, a Yakuza X Judgment game crossover game, right? Would be very nice. Imagine Kaito seeing Kiryu, Ichiban with Yagami, dude. That would be nice. Hopefully, though, hopefully, right? Because. For judgment, they're using a uh, normal, no, 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 like this, uh, combat, right? Fighting combat, brawler. For the Yakuza games, they've shifted, at least the newer ones, uh, like a dragon in the upcoming one, right? It's uh, turn-based now. So, hopefully they continue judgment or make a crossover game between them. It would be very ambitious, I suppose. Probably a very, very big game, but it would be nice though. I can't even imagine Get what kind of story that they can, can put she hates it? for them. Hmm? Huh? Stay out of this, kid. I said, get away! He's at it again. Give me a freaking break. You goddamn brat. Go on. You should get out of here. Thank you. Who the hell do you think you are? I'm gonna have to teach you a lesson. Oh no. Oh, you got a problem with him. Then you gotta go through me. The hell? With dad or something? Then you're both gonna get a lesson together. Coming Pick through. up artist, Okuno. How about I try the iron defense here? Let me see. We should be going after Kenmochi. True. But you made the right call. So don't sweat it. Oh. Okay. Anyway. Kenmochi shouldn't be too far. Let's hurry up and find him. Yeah. Okay. 
I mean, I guess he just went here, though. There he is. There. Found him. Ooh, remember Ashizaki, the guy who died? He had his little fella pierced. You think they take it out before cremation? Oh, um, wouldn't they normally? But I mean, even a funeral director wouldn't peek down behind his nuggets. So, maybe no one noticed. <laughs> his okay. nuggets? Yeah, his dumplings. You know what I mean, don't you? Um, his earlobes? You're using some kind of Hosaka slang, right? <laughs> For real? Now you're just being abstruse. You mean obtuse. Uh, never mind. I forget there's an age gap between us. Still got much to learn. What are these languages you're using? Big words. Abstruse. Obstruse. <laughs> But yeah, though, what happens though? For example, if you die, right? You have piercings, for example, in your tongue, in your belly. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god. Why did you go up, Kaito? I just wanted to, to go like this. And he went up. But I guess it, they remove it though, right? I guess. But dude, piercings on your wee wee? God damn. Jesus. Can Mochi, you bastard, making us follow you around? <laughs> True. Stop going around, Can Mochi. Maiden girls. Where are you going anyways? I thought you were going to go to the hotel district. Come on. Okay, we're, fi we're finally here, I guess. Hopefully. Aniki! There they are! Huh? Oh my god. Hey! Turn the favor. Now die, bitches! God, what a pain in the ass. I don't have time for this. Oh, but screw it. Let's get this over with. Get me! Yokoi.
wasting my goddamn time. Come on, Jude. Let's hurry and find Kenmochi. Yeah, let's go, June. Hey, you know, Crimson Lotus used to be just nine of us in college. And now look where we are. It really is amazing, Shu-chan. I'm sure it's your personality that attracted all those people. Shu-chan? <laughs> Not to mention, we do things on the level. No bosses, no grunts, just one big happy family. We all got nicknames, too. No sons or sirs allowed. That formality shit makes me sick. Ooh, you're so egalitarian. Eh, hey, I wouldn't exactly call us eagles. We're more like a wolf pack. We're all real tight, you know? We help each other out when we're in need. And if you mess with us, we all come get you. Anybody even giving us the stink eye gets their face rearranged by the boys. Oh, uh, and you're free to join or leave whenever. Our policy's not to tie it down. Do you still keep in touch with those who leave? Absolutely. That's why we gotta take out the lady who's been killing off our old buddies. We ought to cut off her skin and feed it to some dogs. It'll make for a real good time. Shuchan, that's so wild. You really are a true friend. True friend. Because he has a lot of money. And influence. Right there. This old place never Dude. changes. Okay, I'm out. I need this to end now. Why is it taking so long? Honestly, they're just making this a, a very long. This is what I hated in Lost Judgment. No, 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 Lost Judgment, the first game. They had all of these, uh, what do you call this? Tailing? And pretty much nothing is happening. At least in this one, there's some dialogue in between and we had fights, right? In Judgment back then, it, there's tailings like, like this length without nothing happening. Just them going around the block. No dialogue, no nothing. At least they removed that thing. I mean, it was good in the beginning and then it became boring. Okay, they're looking to shack up for the night. Hey, where are they going? Uh, nowhere you should worry about. Huh? Isn't that... What's up? I knew it! That's Mom! You sure? Yeah, I bet she was tailing Ken Mochi. Oh, isn't that the detective? What's Shit. her? What's his they name? Her Senda? What? Bato that agency? Got himself tailed on purpose to lure her out. Let's go! Mikiko san! Oh! Damn it! What do we do? No time to waste. I'm busting in. Wait a minute! What about me? Just head back to the office. Shit's about to get ugly. <laughs> All right. Just get mom back safe, okay? Okay, we gotta do this. What are you doing no. here? It's Sender, right? With the Bato boys? <laughs> Kaito, what are you doing here? You were with Mikiko earlier. What the hell for? I tried protecting her. It's what a detective would do. Please don't tell me. Mikiko's your client? Yeah, she is. 
Save the details for later. Where is she now? <sighs> Upstairs. Sotero Dell is Crimson Lotus Turf. There's nowhere to run. <sighs> like I'd ever do that. I'm sorry I couldn't save her, Kaito. Please, get her the hell out of here. Not like you had to ask. Here they come. Guess I shouldn't overstay my welcome. Crimson Lotus. Here we go. Can we enter this? Oh, it's an elevator. Hey, you're not gonna be much use like that. Go on and head outside. <sighs> I hate to admit it, but you're probably right. The elevator stopped at the top floor. The rest, you'll have to figure out. Masuda. Oishi. Nice name, sir. Oishi. Dude, why not use the baton as like as a baton? Oh my God, is he heavy? <laughs> We're losing. Okay, let me use my toughness Z. We're full anyways. Enter. Oh no. Hey, you made it. Kenmochi, you motherfucker. What do you do? <laughs> oh, you mad? You sure took your sweet time for someone claiming to be a fucking bodyguard huh bodyguards are only worth what they're protecting you yeah? but you you ain't worth shit Junk, no holes barred. Breaking their bones, smearing each other's blood on the goddamn mat. <sighs> it's all coming back. My days chasing glory and spilling guts in the underground. 
Can you feel the adrenaline? Then show me what you got, Kaijo! Bastard. I'll make you pay. With your life. I'm gonna break you for what you did. You can actually go here then. Can I drown him here? Come on. Let's play, sir. That was a nice battle. I enjoyed that one. That's why he's like this. He's drinking all the time. It really messed him up. Hey, it didn't really meant it, I guess. See, he's even seeing the ghosts. If he really meant it, he wouldn't care, right? Don't worry. I ain't laid a finger on her. Huh? You fell for it. But those punches after you went ape shit? <laughs> Priceless. <laughs> Nearly made me forget all the pain. Come on. Take another shot. Make it go away. <laughs> Please. I can't take it. I don't want to hurt anymore! Kenmochi, I hope you hurt till the day you die. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, Mikiko. You're safe now. Masaharu-san. 
Okay. We are done. <laughs> Chapter 3 over. But yeah, we saw there that Kenmochi is kind of... He didn't... I guess he said someone, right? He said uh, he said that no one was supposed to be home that day when he burned the place, right? He didn't want to kill those people. Yeah, to kill Maho and family. He didn't want that. No, there's another one bigger than him that we're going to fight. And we're going to see who. But yeah, I guess Kunmochi or maybe those guys are probably okay. But then it became more. I guess the real, real bad one is the one giving them orders, right? And then all of them it just got... Uh, what, what do you call this? Uh, it just got worse for them, I suppose, right? With Kinmochi doing that thing that he didn't mean to, right? But yeah, he did it, and it happened. So, what what can you what can you do? But yes, uh, so Mi Miso Miko the first time in this chapter, at least in present time, right? She nice, she cool, she's very tough. Let's see what happens next episode, right? Because she's waking up there, and uh, the chapter ended. June as well, yeah, reunion. Uh, hopefully it's nice. <laughs> And let's see what happens in the next chapter, uh, chapter 4. So I'll just, no, 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 I mean, I mean, we're going to do more, I mean, of Lost Judgment, the Kaida Files in the next one. So I'll just see you then, guys. Bye-bye.